God bless you on today. Uh, I was uh, just sitting here thinking, uh, just a little contemplative. Oh, hold on, what's that? Just a tad bit contemplated about so many things going on in our world at this moment. You know, we've had uh, the uh, Aretha Franklin funeral, the death of John McCain, and, and just so many things. It seems like our news cycles are, are uh, just coming at us so quick. You know, we have such a... Uh, challenge uh, just keeping up with the events of the day and I was uh, thinking yesterday you know uh, we, there's been so many storylines this week uh, so many things that have uh, uh, piqued interest you know <laughs> we had the Charles Ellis and Ariana Grande thing and, and you know I have my own specific opinions on that, but I won't share on that today. But as you're moving through life, when favor comes, you, you know, when favor starts to rain on your life, it's almost foolhardy to expect, uh, to not expect opposition. Oftentimes it seems like favor will go hand in hand with opposition. When God singles you out, when God smiles on you, when God blesses you, there will be someone that won't be happy about it. But favor on your life. You gotta you gotta know the cost of favor. There we go. There we go. The cost of favor. We all pray for favor, but we won't favor without opposition. Uh, I don't know if it's 1 Corinthians 16, verse 30, or 2 Corinthians 16, verse 30. And Paul, writing to the church of Corinth, he said, For a great and effectual door has been opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. The cost of favor. Folks, when your God starts lifting you up, when God starts causing you to rise, don't think that everybody's going to be happy about it. Don't think that you won't have to deal with some opposition. Don't think that you won't have to um, fight some uh, circumstances because favor has a cost. Everybody wants God's favor, but no one wants to deal with the cost of God's favor. God bless you, uh, Justin. Congratulations, man. Uh, I, uh, I pray that y'all have a... Uh, when y'all after y'all get married, you have a big old church man, and you have like ten choir members. All of them be your kids. Ten, ten, you ten new youth choir members. Yeah, they get a house full of ten. Ten kids. I, I see that. Just talking about favor, uh, Justin. Uh, God bless, you, man. Happy for you, brother. You you're a good dude, man. I, I and you deserve whatever is coming your way. But favor has a cost. When, you know, folks, this young man's getting, has just got engaged and soon to be married, and somebody will be upset about that. Favor has a cost. We all want God to rain his favor down. And you see the awesome cost that Joseph had just from favor from his father. <laughs> Uh, uh, Justin, uh, 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 Joseph had favor from his father, and that angered his brothers. You know, they could even speak peaceably about them. And so, folks, in business, in life, in ministry, don't be surprised when the favor that God has put on your life will cause you some adverse winds. Don't, uh, there's some people that are going to have rocks in their jaw. They're going to have uh, a problem with you starting to advance. They won't even look at the cost. They won't even uh, tally up the cost of the many hours, nights, days that you spent honing your craft or studying uh, in the late night hour. They just know that God's favor is on your life and they don't want God to favor you. It's as if they almost have made daily prayers. God, if you favor anybody, don't favor him or don't favor her. But folks, favor has a cost. So you got to deal with the cost of favor. Uh, Bishop Jakes years ago had a, a series, a, a 
preaching series, and he asked the question, can you stand to be blessed? Folks, look, if you want favor, favor many times will come hand in hand with some haters. Favor will come with people that don't like you, that can't speak peaceably about you. But you got to know that whatever costs favor brings or favor has, that you're willing to pay it. Folks, pay the cost. Go through. Uh, you know, I, I, I mean, if I had to choose whether to be in, living in perfect mediocrity instead of challenged excellence, preach, Steve, I did, uh, I would choose challenged excellence every time. Uh, you know, folks, I, I know everybody wants peace of mind and wants everybody just to leave them alone, but perfect mediocrity, uh, you know, well, you know, I would rather have challenged excellence. I mean, excellence is a challenge. Favor is a challenge. Folks, when one day you'll be gone and you want, you know, you, you want the story to be told. And, and, and I, I think so many of us sit on the sidelines of life because we don't want to face a challenge. We won't, don't want to pay the cost of favor. But folks, pay the cost that favor has. Pay the toll. Pay the fare. And, and, and watch God's favor change your life. Folks, look, you can go. Uh, people are going to talk anyway. Let them talk while you're excelling. Let, let them talk while you're uh, running from breakthrough to breakthrough. Let them talk while, while your life is expanding. So, folks, I'm telling you that their favor has the cost, has a cost. But I, if I got to pay the cost to get favor, I'm going to pay the cost. Folks, favor is, is God's unmerited gift to you. Not that either of us deserved it, but God favored you. That God has caused his light to shine upon you. That God has poured his anointing oil all over your head. He is pouring his favor upon your life. Folks, favor has a cost. When you start, when people start seeing God move in your life, when people start seeing God uh, taking your life to a new place, uh, God lifting you up, Him magnifying you, they're going to have a problem with it. But I'm telling you, it's better to deal with a problem. It's better to deal with a struggle. It's better to deal with tough times. Uh, 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 it's better to deal with adversities. And still have the favor of God on your life. Folks, favor has a cost. I'm telling you and I'm soliciting you to pay that toll. Pay that fare. Pay whatever it costs for God's favor to reign upon your life. Be blessed.